Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to use the Bravo choke from close guard to end up on the mount and, um, and finish the choke from the mount. Alright, so there's going to be a few details in here I want to go over, but um, bear with me. I'll try to get them as cross as, as easy as I can. Now we've gone over the Bravo choke before. That's why I'm not going to show it on the angle that I have. I want to utilize this, this angle so that you guys can see the sweep and also some things that can happen as, as we start to go and put that choke on and use it to sweep. Alright, so... We're going to be in close guard, just here like this. Partner comes forward, we're going to start to pull the lapel out, and we go to our bravo position here, all right? From this position, guys, our partner could come up here and start to try to defend the, 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 uh, the, the choke here with their hands. This is not too bad for us, and we can re really work on it. It might be a bit harder to get the choke here, all right, from the bottom, but we can use it to then turn our partner over and get on top and finish the choke from on top. So while our partner is sort of fighting with our arms here, we're going to make sure we come up and get that second grip and start to put the choke on. So they really have to commit to trying to defend their neck. If they at any point let go of my arms, then I'm going to put the choke on, all right? So while the arms are in here in, in, in defense mode, I'm going to continue the pressure. From here, I'm going to open my guard and put my feet on the hips and wiggle myself out until I can put my two feet inside as butterfly hooks now. Cool. From here, I'm going to butt scoot, pushing my partner away and butt scooting out at the same time. So from here, I'm going to scoot out and sit up. All right, just from here like this. So I still have my hooks active and I'm still looking for the Bravo choke here. All right, now, this is where we need to make sure that when we're doing this, this sweep, that we really put pressure on the neck and pulling them down and pulling them towards us. If at any point we relax, and we do the sweep, their hand's going to go onto the mat and that's going to stop the sweep. But if they take their hand away and put it on the mat while we do the sweep, we're going to finish the choke straight away from here. All right, so we need to force our partner to constantly be having their hands up and on the neck. All right, from here, all we're going to do is shoot, come in, load our partner up and go all the way over to mount and then we just engage the hips and finish the choke here. All right. So, we're here, this, this position, I want to emphasize, you need to be attacking the neck the whole time and very, very aggressively. You can't be sort of playing with the choke. You need to be on the choke and you need to be sort of really working the choke to the point where your partner feels like they can't take their hands and put them on the mat. If they put them on the mat at any point through the technique, you're going to finish the choke from there. All right, so you really need to emphasize that you're, you're really aggressively attacking the neck here. You have to force them to keep their hands up high. All right, obviously if they don't and they put them, there's other things that we can start to do from there. Um, especially because we've got the cross grip, we can grab the hand and just finish the, finish the sweep. All right, um, and sort of look like this. One, two, three, they bring, they defend. Oh, we still go for the choke. Hips out, hooks in, sit up. Okay, now let's say I go to do the sweep this time, but as I go to do the sweep, they start to put their hand on the mat. Oh, so now I would let go of the choke, grab the hand and just finish the sweep with the Bravo here and then restart attacking from here. Cool. So because I've got the cross grip on the Bravo, it allows my same side hand that they're gonna put, the same side that I'm gonna sweep, uh, I'm always going to sweep on the same side that the Bravo choke is on. So if they do put their hand on the mat, then I can use my, my same side hand to sweep up that hand and take out their post so I can sweep them over. Cool. But the original tech, we go lapel, grip. Okay, so we're in the Bravo. They start to defend. One, we're going to make the grip and attack the neck. Use our feet on the hips to shimmy out. Two hooks inside, push them away and sit up. From here, I'm gonna to start to lean. I always think about trying to put my shoulder underneath this little triangle gap here, all right? So I'm gonna sort of turn to the side and then load up with my leg, drive off my toes, and don't come up. Just stay nice and flat and low here. You can see the positioning is perfect and just drop my head and finish the choke there. Cool. So that's how we utilize the Bravo choke to do a, a sweep, get to mount, and then finish the match from the mount.